If anyone knows just how powerful Diana's fashion influence is, it's Catherine, Princess of Wales. Here are her most stunning looks to date, each inspired by Diana's fearless fashion sense. When Queen Elizabeth II sadly died at 96, Charles, then Prince of Wales, immediately became king. As such, many royal titles shifted to the next in line to the throne, but hardly any alterations got as much attention as the designation of the new Prince and Princess of Wales. No one has used the title of Princess of Wales publicly since Diana Spencer until Catherine Middleton. In her first outing as the newly dubbed Princess, Catherine paid homage to her late mother-in-law by channeling Diana's style while stepping out at Windsor. Catherine's debut royal engagement as the Princess of Wales involved a trip to Windsor Guildhall. As the future queen consort, Catherine thanked everyone who played a role in the queen's funeral, wearing a Dolce & Gabbana coat dress. Not only was the look incredibly classic, but Catherine's outfit of choice was very reminiscent of Diana's black coat dress that she sported in 1988 while in Paris. Both looks feature a beautiful A-line silhouette, rich black material, and highly identifiable gold buttons. Catherine even paired her look with simple pearl earrings, paying yet another subtle nod to her late mother-in-law's choice. Clearly, Catherine knew to pay close attention to Diana's example as the Princess of Wales. I do look like I'm trying hard enough. We had to do a double take for this one because Catherine, Princess of Wales, clearly took a page from Diana Spencer's book for this look. As noted by Elle, Catherine was visiting Scotland in 2021 when she stepped out in a head-to-toe blue look, dazzling in its own right. The royal blue blazer Catherine wore was bought at Zara, and she paired it with a pleated skirt from Hope, a tan clutch, corresponding tan pumps, and her classic romantic curls. While the outfit would undoubtedly have landed her on any best dress list, the clear homage to Diana caught everyone's attention. While visiting South Korea with then Prince Charles, Diana sported a dazzling blue blazer, complete with gold buttons, and a pleated skirt, creating an almost dress illusion that is just as stunning today as it was then. When the royal ass cut takes place, we run, not walk, to the photos. The event often shows the royals in all their daytime fashion glory. Catherine, Princess of Wales, stepped out of the Royal Ascot in 2022 in a gorgeous Alessandra Rich polka dot dress, oozing a sense of grace, poise, and Julia Roberts from Pretty Woman. The dress couldn't have fit her more perfectly, and her Sally Ann Pro Van hat was the perfect cherry on top. While the then Duchess of Cambridge looked effortlessly chic, she clearly put a lot of thought into her look for the star-studded day. As Vogue quickly pointed out, Diana wore a polka dot ensemble to the Royal Ascot in 1988, and the similarities are so apparent you'd think you're looking at the same dress. With matching cigarette sleeves, cinched waist detailing, and similar wide-brimmed hats, Diana and Catherine's looks are so obviously connected that we're a little speechless. When Diana Spencer first stepped onto the royal scene, the public was entranced by her. She was dazzling, a radiant young beauty, and her first public appearance with Prince Charles had everyone talking. As noted by Insider, the young Diana joined Charles at Goldsmiths Hall in 1981 in a stunning black taffeta gown. The strapless look, cinched waistline, and full skirt was a bold look for the newly minted royal girlfriend. And we're here to say that she looked simply stunning. Charles, meanwhile, was not a fan. She asked me, you see, which, which one do I wear? I said, why did you wear that one? Okay, and the other one. I about something else. Why do you ask me? I don't know. Andrew Morton noted in the book Diana, Her True Story, in her own words, that Charles hated the dress, and Diana telling Morton that her betrothed made his opinions clear, saying, I remember walking into my husband-to-be's study and him saying, you're not going in that dress, are you? I replied, yes, I am, and he said, it's black, but only people in mourning wear black. Clearly, she was not dissuaded by Charles's aggressive opinion and wore the dress anyway. Someone else who wasn't impacted by Charles's dated opinion? Catherine, the now Princess of Wales, who stepped out in late 2011 in an almost identical black strapless ball gown. As noted by the Daily Mail, Catherine and Prince William attended the Sun Military Awards, and the young royal looked stunning in her black velvet ensemble from Alexander McQueen, taking a cue from Diana to rock black while not mourning. Life as a working royal is all about public appearances, from charity work to gala events, state dinners, and everything in between. The life of a senior royal is about service to the Commonwealth, and perhaps no event serves this narrative better than Remembrance Day. During the 2021 National Service of Remembrance, Catherine, Princess of Wales, stunned in a gorgeous black ensemble that featured silver buttons and red trim reminiscent of a military uniform.
As noted by People, her look was a nod to Diana Spencer's Remembrance Day parade look sported in 1992. Catherine's look in particular showcased a white collar, a beautiful wide-brimmed hat, and a traditional poppy pin. While many were likely focusing on Catherine's polished look for the Remembrance Day service, others pointed to the nearly identical look Diana wore. Diana, too, wore a wide-brimmed hat, a black-coated dress with bold buttons, pearl earrings, and a poppy pin, forcing us to do a double-take given how similar these ensembles are. As Diana Spencer started to strike out on her own, her outfit choices reflected personal growth. Her early days on the royal scene were full of soft silhouettes, her iconic blue eyeliner, and looks that fit an innocent young princess. But as time went on and the then Princess of Wales was forced to carve out her own space, her outfits transformed. She was probably the first royal to ever wear a baseball cap in public. She started sporting menswear-inspired cuts. Her hair got significantly shorter, and her makeup went from a doe-eyed young girl to a sophisticated working royal. With all that said, Diana's outfit at a 1991 event honoring those who served during the Gulf War is a perfect example of her more sophisticated style. The white coat dress featured a bold v-neck shape and prominent buttons, and she paired the look with a two-toned hat that demanded attention. Catherine, Princess of Wales, took a cue from her late mother-in-law in 2022, Newsweek noted, during the Trooping the Color event, which celebrated Queen Elizabeth II's 70th year as reigning monarch. Catherine was seen in an incredibly similar white coat dress, which featured the same deep v-neckline and prominent button detail. She, too, paired the look with a two-toned hat and drop-down earrings, providing royal watchers with yet another example of Diana-inspired looks. Diana Spencer and then Prince Charles of Wales separated in 1992, and by 1996, their marriage was over. Despite their strained relationship and status as a couple, Diana still attended many royal events and was seen as an important member of the royal family. The 1995 VJ Day commemoration event is an example, CNN noted at the time. Diana was seen in a stunning white ensemble on the day in question, one such look that has made it onto many best-dressed lists. The suit jacket and skirt pairing was made even more dazzling by the black piping that detailed the lines of the garments, and the bold buttons drew everyone's gaze. Diana paired her look with a pillbox hat and equally charming black pumps, featuring white stripe detailing. Overall, the look was very Jackie Kennedy circa 1950, and it looks just as radiant today as it did in the 1990s. Catherine, Princess of Wales, knows better than anyone just how iconic her late mother-in-law's fashion looks were, and she took a cue from this ensemble in particular during the Order of the Garter event in 2019. As noted by Harper's Bazaar, Catherine was seen in a Catherine Walker coat dress that featured the same black piping as Diana's 1995 look. She rounded out the outfit with a pair of pearl earrings and a hat from Lock & Company, again displaying that Diana was a source of fashion inspiration. The birth of a royal baby is perhaps one of the happiest moments in a royal's life. When Diana Spencer left St. Mary's Hospital having just given birth to Harry, Diana was seen wearing a red dress and corresponding coat, people noted, holding little Harry wrapped up in a blanket. In a rather touching and memorable moment, Catherine, Princess of Wales, took a page from Diana's fashion book and similarly wore a red dress with a white collar, just like her late mother-in-law as she left the hospital after giving birth to Prince Louis. Catherine's dress was from the designer Jenny Packham, who also designed Diana's blue-green dress to leave the hospital after giving birth to Prince William. And I don't think that you can go wrong with the Duchess of Cambridge, who always looks impeccable. Overall, Catherine's choice in both dress design, color, and designer indicated that Diana was on her mind at such a special moment. Catherine, Princess of Wales, has clearly identified that keeping Diana's influence alive in terms of fashion and iconic looks is a visual way of honoring her, and the dress she chose while photographed for Charles' 70th birthday portrait could not have been more of a perfect example of this. As noted by Hello! magazine, Catherine wore a polka dot dress from designer Alessandra Rich for the portrait in question. It featured a beautiful white collar, which stood out amid the photograph. And we have seen Kate in this dress before, and it simply is a dazzling look. What made this choice that much more special, however, is that Diana wore a very similar polka dot dress with a prominent white collar in 1989. She was pictured in Hong Kong in a light blue polka dot dress with, of course, a bold collar and buttons. To wear such a design that invoked her late mother-in-law for a portrait with Charles, of all things, is clearly a nod that Catherine was aware of. 
We can't wait to see how her wardrobe as the Princess of Wales continues to pay tribute to the beloved late royal.